I was a lifeguard at Venice Beach. I saw a kid at that time trying to skateboard by nailing steel wheels to two by four planks. Larry Stevenson had such style and wanted the best. The boards were made, made of the best wood, had style and, and trim on the bottom of the board, shaped, railed, and made, made the shape look like a surfboard. And he knew he could get every kid to pick up that board and feel, feel like he's a surfer. You know, skateboards were and still are in a way considered toys. And I think he made it more like something um, legitimately artistic like surfboards and stuff. Larry comes along with a surfboard that is street adaptable and uses surfers to introduce it to the surf community. In 1965, our production had gotten to 2,000 boards a day. In 1969, Larry Stevenson decided to come out with a uh, foam kicktail called LX-10. The Makaha LX-10, the, uh, the foam skateboard, ultra light, ultra fast, clay wheels, cone bearings. This board is still fast in today's market. Makaha was the first to feature a front and back kicktail. You know, Larry Stevenson is like, you know, the, the godfather, kind of like I guess you'd say, or you know, one of the like real masterminds behind the whole thing with the Macaw skateboard and the Macaw team. And it was it was as important or more important part of skateboarding history as the skateboard.